living at a high school, getting up each morning on your own, making it to class on time, doing homework without parental supervision, and all at the same time, remembering to eat three meals a day. This is what happens here at the Arkansas School for Mathematics, Sciences, and the Arts. My name is Annie Shu, and I'm a student here at what we call more fondly ASMSA. Not a lot of people know about these public residential schools like ASMSA. Not many know what it's like to be 16 years old and out living on your own. However, those students that do choose to attend ASMSA truly know what it means to live independently. ASMSA is one of 14 public residential high schools in the country. These 14 schools serve as leaders in education for their states. The academic curriculum at ASMSA is said to be challenging and well-structured compared to other high schools and curriculums throughout the state and even throughout the nation. I'm taking AP Physics C. Biochemistry. World Studies. French 4. Multivariable calculus. Vector calculus. Advanced topics in physics. Biomedical physics. Immunology. The developmental biology. AP biology. And uh, topics in pure mathematics. What attracts students to ASMSA the most is to its ability to prepare, prepare you for college. Uh, primarily because at my old school, there was only it was a really small school and there's only one set of classes you could take. You couldn't choose anything. Like This is the first time I've ever been able to choose a class. Most of the students here are seeking a higher level of education so that they could go on to the big name universities, possibly Harvard, Yale, or MIT. All the teachers here are pretty cool. They go through an extremely intense interview process and selection process so that the school picks the best of the best. I like it. Um, they're more of your friends. You get to see more of them. You can talk to them after school. They're there for study hours. Regardless of what they say about you're gonna, grades are going to drop here, that most students what I've, from what I've seen that come in here and hear that they think that any drop in their grade is due to the difficulty of the course material. And don't think you know all of this stuff. I mean, it's not like your old school. You can't just, oh, I'm just going to wing this test and expect to come out with a passing grade because that can happen. Living at ASMSA is an integral part of the academics here. In order to attend and be counted one of the top students in Arkansas, you have to live here. That's right, you eat, learn, and sleep here. But living here entails so much more. Students are immersed with other students who are different from each other. The students that make up the ASMSA student body are ethnically, religiously, and socially diverse. So what is it like living amongst a diverse group of students? How does the social atmosphere at ASMSA differ from that of a regular high school? Seeing your friends at school from 8 to 3 is one thing, but to see them from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed is quite another. Uh, that, was a, that was a shock, I guess, um, in Russellville. There's probably a handful of ethnically diverse families. You have people coming from all over Arkansas, from all different kinds of families. Um, some are different ethnicities and stuff, so we all bring our own experiences and our own thoughts together, and I think that's what makes ASMSA more diverse. I'm from Nigeria, and actually I was born in Canada, but my whole family's from Nigeria. And here at ASMSA, there's people from all over the world, Pakistan, India, China, Germany, Russia, it's everywhere around the world. So when you come here at ASMSA, you can experience cultures from around the world and can learn many things about other people and how they live and what they eat, what they listen to. And so that's like a good experience to have early on because in college, you're going to have to meet other people 
that are from all around the world as well. So being exposed to diversity here, it will be prepare you for the, the culture shock and other in college. Uh, <laughs> okay. The cliques here are a lot different than, you know, cliques at normal high schools. You know, you have your categories. But here, first of all, we're all just nerds. Every single one of us. I, I don't care who you are. You're, you're a nerd. You're here. You're a nerd. Um, I don't know, I don't know how you would define, define the cliques. For the most part, it might be on the range of how nerdy you really are. I guess there's loads of things to do besides studying. I mean, there's ultimate frisbee, football, volleyball, basketball. Um, that's just sports. There's also a whole bunch of clubs, uh, adapt, rotary, uh, quiz bowl, chess, billiards, um, table tennis. You can still maintain high grades without giving up what you want to do, like playing soccer. So you just need to know how to manage your time so you can know, so you can be able to do what you want to do. Having a roommate, um, it's... I think you can kind of compare it to like having a brother or sister, like if you sh shared a room or something. Um, most of the time, you know, you get along, I, like, both years had roommates, we got along fine, it was all good. My roommate was pretty cool. He, we had boundaries that were set up, we got along fairly well, and there wasn't too many problems between us. So what's it like to live at school? Definitely demanding, yet rewarding, exciting and different. So what's it like to live at ASMSA? Well, I've shown you all I can through the lens of a camera, but to truly experience ASMSA, you'll have to come and find out for yourself.